Hello everyone, Giovanni here and welcome back to my channel. We are back with some more FIFA 22 and Sufati Mind Player Career Mode. We're into March now. We have some international games coming up in this episode. And we also went ahead and booked our places into the Champions League quarterfinals over Borussia Dortmund in the last episode. If you want to see how we did, the link will be down in the description as well as the end of the video so you guys can check that one out. Definitely give that a watch. We qualified in some dramatic fashion. Don't want to spoil it too much, so definitely give that a watch. But we should have the Champions League quarterfinals coming up in this episode against Juventus. And I think a game against um, Atletico Madrid as well. So some great games to look forward to. Ansu Fati now a 91 rated player. 51 games played, 29 goals scored. He's almost at that 30 goal marker season now. So hopefully we can get that into this episode and progress into the semi-finals of the Champions League. I'm looking forward to it. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button. And let's get this episode rolling. Alright, let's take a look at the calendar here and see what games we have coming up in this episode. We do have a few international matches coming up, Iceland and Romania, and then we should have Villarreal coming up in La Liga, massive game on there. Also, Juventus in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, two legs probably, and then Atletico Madrid. If this episode isn't too long, we can bring the Atletico Madrid game as well. We also have Real Madrid coming up on the scratch of things, so lots of great games to look forward to. Just going fast forward here. Um, and get this international matches going. So far, it's been some brilliant stuff for Ansu Fati, man. We beat Sevilla in the last episode. About time we had a comeback win. That was brilliant. Whoa, we're on the reserves for Spain. We are on the reserves for Spain against Iceland. We got to do some training, boys. Let's do a quick sim then. We're not even involved in this game. 3-2 win for Iceland. Oh, it's RDT. Two goals for RDT. Interesting. I don't know who that is, but my goodness. Iceland beat Spain. This is why you need to get us into the starting. Why are we in the reserves? All right, let's do some trainings and let's do some trainings and try and get into this. Um, crap, the trainings doesn't think save did it. Can I add this? No, I can't. All right, let's go ahead and add the trainings here, and then we'll do these trainings quickly, uh, hopefully. And we just aced all of our trainings, by the way. That took us to the sub list, but I don't think we're gonna get enough minutes in this game against Romania. I mean, that's fine anyway. Maybe I should sim it, but well, yeah, we're going about 76 minutes, so we'll, we'll play this. We'll play. Let's jump in right now. Let's jump in right now. So opportunity to play for Spain. So we'll jump in. This against Romania. It's nil-nil. Hopefully we can get in there and score the winner. I believe we can. And we always do we want whenever we come off the bench. Let's take a look at our match objectives here and see what we have coming up in this uh short little bit of time. We have coming on the pitch yeah, for Oza oh yeah, Isabella. Um get a 6.5 match rate. We already have that. Get a cross success rate of at least 30% and get a pass success rate of at least 45%. So um that's not too bad. So easy enough. We're not playing extra high level five. So it looks like we're going for the goal. Actually, we didn't want to know. I didn't realize that. Holy crap. We came in at a 6.5. Now we're at a 6.4. <laughs> we're dropping. We're dropping. Uh, Fati could win second balls. Yes, sir. Oh, that true pass out of going for Ansu Fati. Romania pushing everyone forward here. Lovely play. Ansu Fati. Katana. That should be game over. Every time he comes on the pitch. For Spain, he produces a goal. Ansu Fati with a goal for Spain. That should give him his 30 goal in the season of all in our competitions this season. Lovely play from Thiago. True pass comes from Avaro Morata. Fatu does the rest. And what a brilliant finish from the youngster that to post been up 2-0 in this game. And they should be seeing this game out now from here. It's on the clock. One added minute to this game as Romania comes forward. It's going to get one cushion goal here. It's with Haji. Imagine if that's the Haji. The Haji himself could play from Fati. Oh, they're going to blow. Oh, there goes the four-time whistle. A 2-0 win for Spain over Romania. And they get the job done. Fati comes in for Oyazabel with 15 minutes left to play. And he gets a goal. Exactly the kind of impact you need to make to get back into the starting lineup for the Spanish national boys. He Ansu Fati does brilliantly. Comes on, gets a goal. 2-0 win for Spain. And they move on. Get three points here for the European qualifiers. Could play, could play. Pretty happy with his performance. Um, 7.7 .7 ratings, one shot on target, one goal. Efficiency, efficiency there from Ansu Fati. Um, but not bad. I cannot believe Gaia missed that one as well. Terrible, terrible. That's going to get us. Let's advance this. Let's advance this. Good play, good play. And then we should have Villarreal coming up now. We didn't even, what? We didn't even go up a little bit, man, from the subs list. Look at that line. Still the same. But 30 goals for Ansu Fati, 11 assists. All right, we should have Villarreal coming up now in La Liga, the line 10th. Not too bad. We'll climb up to fourth place now. 29 games played, 56 points for Barcelona. We got that win against um, Sevilla. So hopefully we can get another win against Villarreal. It's obviously going to be very tough. That's a Villarreal team playing a 4-1, 4-1. Dia, Danjuma, um, Saul, Chukwueze, Sul is in there. Ruli really in goal as well. Not a bad team. Not a bad team. But look at this team that Barcelona has built here compared to last season. Last season, we had Pedri play center back. We had no Jordi Alba, no left back. 
But look at this team now. Davis, Afonso Davis, left back, Torres, Paul Torres, Jimenez, Des, Testek, and Pianic, Pedri, De Jong, Correa, Dembele, and Ansu Fati. What a freaking team. Super excited about this. Let's, let's get this game going here against Villarreal at the Camp Noon. Barcelona versus Villarreal live from the Camp Nou. It's a rainy afternoon here at the Stadio El Libertador um, as Barcelona host Villarreal. Should be a good game. Ansu Fati is, of course, the tip for in today's game. Let's take a look at our match objectives here and see what we have coming up in this game. Get an 8.5 match rating score. At least one go from outside of the box and take three shots on target. Super excited. Let's get this game going here in the first half. It's underway. Big game for Barcelona. We'll play here from Villarreal. Back to Diago block. Oh, come on, Afonso Davis. Go tackle in. Davis. Finds Ansu Fati. Let's go, Fati. Correa. Back to Ansu Fati. Lovely one twos. Barcelona on the attack here. Fati. Still with Fati. Does well. Correa. Get in there. What a goal from Barcelona. Ansu Fati. The assist provider for the assist. <laughs> and it's a it's an easy tap in there for Pedri. Lovely passage of movement. The counter attack from Barcelona. Fast pace movement. And what a finish from Pedri in there. Pretty easy. Pretty comfortable save. But I mean, pretty comfortable finish. But it's the movement. Ansu Fati. Oh, see ya, Nicolas Sul. And look at that touch. That touch from Correa into the path of Pedri. And he just taps into the back of the net pretty comfortably. Goalkeeper stood no chance. I mean, I almost got there. I almost got there. But it's a pretty comfortable goal there for Pedri to make it 1-0 for Barcelona. Come on. Game on. Oh, lovely play. Good shot. Good save there for my guy, Marc-Andre Testegen. It's off for a corner kick here to Villarreal. Chukwueze to take it. Cross comes in. It's a deep cross. Good win there from Afonso Davis. Ansu Fati picks it up. It's one against one. Fati, does he have the pace to get past Mario Gasper? Ansu Fati's done well. Mario Gasper is put on the chase. Fatu's done him. Lays in the path. Oh, what a block. Fati, what a goal. Ansu Fati, 2 0 for Barcelona. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. 2 0 for Barcelona. Go for Ansu Fati. Could have gotten the assist. Didn't get the assist, but he finished it up in the end. Lovely performance here from Barcelona and Ansu Fati. They better not bottle this. They better not bottle this. He says, what's up? He's doing the soul. Lovely skills. Lays into the path. I mean, Pedri is blocked. And the pass comes back from Correa. And what a finish. What a finish there. Brilliant strike. Cuts it back. And Ansu Fati smashes that right back to where the goalkeeper came from. You are not saving that one. You are not saving that one. It's 2-0 to Barcelona. Now, go tackling there from him also. Lovely true pass to Correa. He does well. Ansu Fati picks it up. Fati finds five star, five star Dembele. Look at Correa. Lovely true pass goes to Correa. Is he on side? It's Correa. It's 3 0 to Barcelona. They're absolutely rinsing Villarreal today. They're taking them to the cleaners. Get rinsed. Get dried up in this wet day here. They're getting rinsed. What a play from Barcelona. Correa with a go and he's blowing kisses. Lovely one twos. Ansu Fati into Dembele into Correa. He takes his time and what a finish. He's not missing from that range. Correa makes it 3 0. 3 0 for Barcelona. Now it's Mandy finds Arambari into the feet of Dia. Good interception there for my man Pjanic. Frankie Dion, Correa finds Ansu Fati. Good play from Barcelona. Ansu Fati now coming up with it. There with Fati. Look at that run from Correa. Lovely true pass. He's got options. Dembele. Oh, it's four. It's 4-0 for Barcelona. It is absolutely clinical here today. They really wanted this game. This is how you get ready for that quarterfinals against a Juventus. Lovely performance here. They are absolutely destroying Villarreal. Fatih with the true pass to Correa. The run from the five-star, five-star Dembele. Cuts it back. And there's an easy tap in there for Usmani Dembele. He can score that in his sleep. 4-0 for Barcelona. Morales out wide to Dan Juma. Got to back on interception. One added minute to this first half. Correa with it. 
Oh, referee blows for the halftime whistle. We could have made it 5 0 here if the referee had not blown for the halftime whistle. But 45 minutes left to play. Um, it's, it's, it's safe to say that Barcelona are definitely not going to bottle this lead. It's very safe to say we're not going to bottle this lead. 9.5 running. Only one shot on target from Ansu Fati. Oh, we need that goal from outside the box as well. I forgot about that. We need that goal from outside the box. And we need to take two more shots on target. So hopefully we can get those strong in the second half. But let's go Madrid are tied. Come on. Let's win this game. Let's win this game. 45 minutes left to play. Oh, why is he bringing down Correa, man? Uh, maybe he's thinking about the game against Juventus, but Correa is making way here for Manash in the second half. Commences now. <laughs> Mandy makes way. So, corner kick to them here. What can they do? Can they get a goal back? A consolation goal, maybe? Cross comes in. It's a deep cross. Heather away. Comfortable save there for Testiagen. Go play from Fati. What a pass from Sergio Biscuit. What a pass from Biscuit. Fati, Barcelona, Ansu Fati. 5 0. What a goal from Ansu Fati. That pass from Sergio Biscuit into the feet of Afonso Davis was something spectacular for Ansu Fati with the goal from outside of the box. He gets it done. The curl. I mean, look at that roll from Pedro. We could have slipped Pedro in there for the true pass, but he says, no, I see ya, I don't need ya. I'm going to finish there. What a strike from Ansu Fati. He's got that finesse shot in the locker. Ansu Fati makes it 5-0. 5-0 here for Barca. 21 goals in 30 matches for Ansu Fati. 5-0. This game should be wrapped up now. <laughs> How much time am I adding to this game? One added minute to this game. Barcelona hits five against Villarreal. Big performance. There goes the full-time whistle. Barcelona hits five. Five goals against Villarreal. Much needed win as well. Massive boots here. Massive boost for them as they go into the Champions League quarterfinals against Juventus. Exactly what they needed. Two goals for Ansu Fati. Did he get an assist as well? He may. I don't think he got an assist. But two goals for Ansu Fati. The goal from outside the box. Brilliant performance for Barcelona in general. And it's a much needed three points as well to try and close that gap. Two goals from, yeah, no assist. Three shots on target, two goals for Ansu Fati. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. Nicolas Su was absolutely murdered by Ansu Fati. 10.0 um, rating, men of the match, two goals for Ansu Fati. Um, too bad he couldn't get the assist, but we got everything else done. We got everything else done. Atletico Madrid drew 2-2, two, two, get in there exactly what we like to see. We completed all of our objectives. Every single one of our objectives were done. All right, let's go ahead and get this game going against Juventus. I'm not doing any training, so we'll, we'll do trainings after. Look at how tired Ansu Fati is. And what's with these kids, man? What's with these kids? Ansu Fati, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do that one. And that's the Juventus team playing a 4-2-3-1. Keen, Eatar, Ren is in there. Atua, Lucatelli, Corona, Barnes, Blind, Delid, Lingle, Cuadrado, and Chesney. What a freaking team. But we got Alfonso Davis, Paul Torres is in the Jimenez desk. Uh, Buscate starts this time over Pianic, Ivo Pianic, De Jong, De Jong is a 92, De Jong went up to a 92 rated, what a midfielder, let's go ahead and get this game going then, it should be a massive game in the Champions League quarterfinals. Stay tuned, stay tuned. We'll have all the action, all the actions coming live here from the Juventus Stadium as a Juventus host Barcelona in what could be one of the most exciting draws so far in the quarterfinals. Both teams are looking to progress into the semifinals. Who will go through and who will get left behind? Ansu Fati with two goals in his last game. Let's take a look at his match objectives here and see what we have coming up in this game. Get a match, winning for at least 8.5. Avoid losing a match or win a draw and get a conversion of at least 60%. So we have to be clinical. We have to be clinical. I love it already. We're coming a little bit half stemming, but that's fine. We've been here before, and hopefully we can do it here again. The first half is on the way in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals against Juventus. Lovely one. Two's Moise Keen now has it. Locatelli goes for a shot. It's blocked. Out wide now to the five-star, five-star Dembele. This is where Barcelona are dangerous. Dembele with the pace. Lovely true pass to Ansu Fati. Oh. Fati! 
I thought the chance had gone by, but the chance still was there. And Ansu Fati finishes here for Barcelona. They take first bleed. They are drawing fresh blood here, Barcelona. Lovely play from 5-star, five 5-star five Dembele into the field of Korea, into the young um, pass council Fati. I mean, Chesney didn't even move. Chesney didn't even move because of that clinical, that strike was from Ansu Fati. Cuts across it. Yeah, he's not reacting to that. He's not reacting to that. Lovely strike from Ansu Fati. So gave Barca the lead here 1-0. And it's game on. Game on now. Still with Keane. Juventus on the attack. Here go block from Sergio Des. Frankie De Jong fouled. But referee says play on. Still with advantage. Juventus. Artur now has it. Can he get past Davis? He finds Iatarian. Back to Artur. Good skills. Cuts it back to Keane. And it's a goal for Juventus. It's 1-1. One, one. It's on level here at the Juventus Stadium. And Moise Keane puts them in the driving seat, because they have the advantage. Now, we don't have an advantage, but they're the home side. They got back into it. You can say momentum was now shifted here. Lovely play from Juventus. Lovely one-twos. Cuts it back. Good skills. And that's an easy tap in there for Moiskin. Nothing the goalkeeper could do, but the defense has shattered again. It's 1-1. One -one. Talk about a game. Now, so Ehatarin finds Ator. Lovely true pass to Moiskin. Good play from Juventus. It's with Keane. Good block there from Jose Maria. Him and it's back to Keane. Brilliant save there from Mark andre Testa again. Oh, I tell you what. Juventus should be up 2-1 in this game. I said they had the momentum. Their home side have the momentum. The crowd is behind them. Cross comes in. Good defending there from the 5-star. 5-star gem of a player. And there goes the first half whistle. It is 1-1 between Barcelona and Juventus going into the halftime break here. And so far, it's been a good game. Good game. Barcelona scored first. Juventus scored. They got the momentum. And since then, it's been Juventus all the rest of that second half. But 100% conversion rate from Ansu Fati so far. He's been clinical. He's been really clinical. 45 minutes left to play in this first leg. And then it's a whole nother leg to play. Let's go Madrid are tied with Inter Milan 1-1. Anything is still possible in that leg. We're also tied here 1-1 as well. So anything is possible. 45 minutes left to play in this first leg. And the second half commences. And finds here Tarian. Jose Maria Jimenez. What an interception. Ansu Fati. Can he find 5-star, five 5-star five Dembele? He does. Dembele goes back. Good play from Barca. Fati. Lovely two pass. Frankie De Jong. Oh. Oh, De Jong. How did he not score that? Hatarian. Keen. Lovely interception there from my man Sergio Buschetti. Afonso Davis. Finds Frankie De Jong. Finds Ansu Fati. Correa. De Jong. Lovely play here from Barcelona. It's with Ansu Fati. Oh, it takes a massive deflection. It takes a massive deflection. It ends up in the back of the net. And it's a goal for Ansu Fati, I think. I don't think it's an own goal, but we'll take it. We'll take it. What a lucky bounce. Exactly what we need in this game here. A lucky, lucky goal for Barcelona. But we need luck. We need any bit of luck we can get. Lovely pass in the movement, though. Pass comes in from Correa. Good touch from Ansu Fati. Goes for the curl on that. Oh, the deflection takes it away from Chesney. Go. Maybe that was nestling to the back right now. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it was looking like it was looking good. And then the step takes it past Chesney. And it's a goal for Barcelona. Is it going to count as a goal for Ansu Fati? It looks, like it's, it looks like it might be. Petri now makes way. It's 2-1. It's a goal for Fati. Two goals for Ansu Fati. 2-1 here. Finds Moise Keane into the field of Winston McKinney. Back to Keane. Back to McKinney. Out wide now to Kulusevski. Goes... Good such a play there. What can he do with it? Go skills from Kulusevsky. Cross it back to Winston McKinnon. Oh, they overdid it. They overdid it. No! Oh my goodness. What in the hell is that shit? What is that, man? We, we're, we're a couple of seconds away from winning this game. And what is Mark andre Testagen doing with that shit, man? What is that? I mean, I'm sort of swear. I don't like swearing, but come on, man. What is that? Good defending. Clear it. He doesn't clear it. He goes for the tackle. He doesn't hang on to it. It's all his calamities. Absolute calamities. Jose Maria Jimenez and Mark andre Testegen have bottled this game. Complete bottlers again. We're 2-1 up. We should see out the game. Oh, of course, he's making way now. You're going to sub out Jimenez now. It's too late. It's too late. Fatty. Done well, though, Fatty. Done well. Ansu Fati. One last attack. Oh, look at Quadrado there. 
Ah, oh, and there goes the four-time whistle. 2-2 two -two here, all's even at this first leg in the Champions League quarterfinals. It's all to play for in the second leg, but Barcelona should be disappointing themselves here. Fatih looks pissed off. 2-1 off. They absolutely bottled it. Bunch of bottlers. They should have won this game 2-1. Instead, it's tied 2-2, two -two and they have everything to do now in the next leg. Uh, we should have been winning 2-1, man. We should have been winning 2-1. I cannot believe we're letting a goal last minute. Who lets in a goal last minute like that? Huh? What was this goal, man? What was this goal about? Oh, shit. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. Makes no sense whatsoever. 63% possession. 3-3 draw for Juventus and Atletico Madrid as well. Draws everywhere in this game. Everyone is drawing... We should have seen out the game. We should have saw out the game. Simple as that. Uh, let's do some training here as well then. Get this done. Now we got Real Valencino coming up. I'll go ahead and sim this game as well. Why not? We'll do a sim. Get in there. 4-2 win for Barcelona. We got a quarterfinal second leg coming up now against uh, Juventus. Against La Juventus. We got to win this game. 34 goals for Ansu Fati. He picked it up in the second half of the season, man. 34 goals already. What a performance by Barcelona trap Trump over um, Rayo. Good good win. Good win. Passa desperate to go through. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go and get this game going. Second half. Second leg, I should say, against Juventus. We'll keep him with the same lineup. Busquets comes in. De Young, Pedri, Torres, Jimenez, Des, Davis. Uh, Delay. Dinier comes in. Ling Lei against his former club. Uh, Rabiel, so Lacotelli, Keane, Barnes. Still the same. And Barbara comes in now. Um, but let's get this game going. Let's get this game going here. Second leg. Continues. Well, the top scorer right here, Tarian, who, who he was kept quiet. He definitely was kept quiet in the first leg. Hopefully, we can do the business here in the second leg and progress into the Champions League semifinals. It's a big game here for Barcelona. Second leg against Juventus. First leg and the 2-2. Let's take a look at the match objectives here and see what we have coming up in this game. Get an 8.5 match rating. Avoid losing the match and get a team possession rate of at least 55%. The key one for me is avoid losing the match. That's the aim in this game. Let's go ahead and get this game going. The, sec the second leg, first half is on the way. Nice out wide to Harvey Barnes. Keen. Oh, finds Locatelli. After the feed of Harvey Barnes. Got it back. What a save from Mark on the test tag. And good block there from Afonso Davis. Oh, my goodness. It could have been 1 0 here for Juventus, but it asked for a corner kick or yellow card for Ansu Fati as well. We absolutely tackled Moise Keen. <laughs> A yellow card for Ansu Fati. Moiskin looks pissy. I think he wants more. He wants more, but it's a corner kick here for Juventus. Good save for Mark andre Testeg and will keep them in the cross. Comes in the deep line cross. Testeg and grabs it comfortably. Still with Barca here. Look at his lovely true pass to Sergino Dest. Oh, he couldn't find that cross, Dest. Oh, Sergino Dest. And there goes the first half whistle. So 45 minutes is done. A nil nil here in this first half. Second leg, there's the last 45 minutes left to play. If we don't get a winner, we could be going to extra time, extra time and penalties. But anything, everything is yet to be played for in this match. And Barcelona has to try and get that first goal, I think. Because right, look at Ling Lei. Look like <laughs> Ling Lei against his former club. Yeah, let's go Madrid win against Juventus here. Good job for them. We got to get a win, guys. We got to get a win. Come on, boys. If it stay like this, I'm not sure if we go through on away goals. Um, but let's go ahead and get a second half going. 45 minutes left to play in the second leg of Tide. And the second half is on the way. And that's what Locatelli finds Harvey Bounce. Good interception there by Sergio Buschetti. For play. Uh, there we go. Lovely play. Out wide to Sergio Des. He's got options. Cross comes in. Fati! Yes! Come on! Fati with the assist. Correa makes the goal. And it's a 1 0 lead here for Barcelona over Juventus. What is Chesney playing at? What on earth is Chesney playing at? The cross comes in from Sergio Des. Look at this play from Des. Good play. Close control. Cross comes in. Fatu wins it. What is Chesney doing? Leaves his post unmarked. Ansu Fati finds the assist to Andrea Correa. Angel Correa, I should say. And it's an easy header goal there from 
Correa to put Barcelona up here. One nil. This could be a massive goal. Chesney may have crossed his team. And now Correa is making way for Barca. Matthew Brevway comes in. Comes in. One nil for Barca. Three to an aggregate. Can they hang on here? There we go. What a what a tackle. Fatty. They would fatty. What a pass. Martin Braithwaite, come on! Come on, game over! Game over, Chesney has absolutely bottled this game here for Juventus. What a trash goalkeeper, what is he thinking? What is Chesney doing here today? The pass comes from Ansu Fati with the assist, and what a header there from Martin Braithwaite. Ansu Fati, lovely assist. Oh, what a brilliant header. What a brilliant header, but someone has to ask questions of the goalkeeper that what is Chesney playing now? Maybe he should be saving the two goals that were scored seems to be his fault here. Chesney lets it in again. It's not even hit with too much any sort of power, but it dips over him into the back of the net. It's a 2-0 lead here for Barcelona, and they could be heading to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Can they get one goal back in this game? Cross comes in. It's a deep line cross. Good defender. Neuhaus picks it up into the feed now of KO. Good turn. Oh, it's with Kulusevsky. Brilliant save there for Mark andre Testegen. Andre Testegen, my goalkeeper. Kulusevsky still with it. Still Kulusevsky. Good tackle in. Referee says no foul. That should be the game. Referee anytime. There goes the four-time whistle. What a big win here for Barcelona. 2-0 victorious over Juventus. A goal for Ansu. Well, two assists for Ansu Fati. No goals, but he got the assist for his team. Chesney has some questions to be answered because he absolutely bottled it for his team today. They relied on him and he let in cheap goals in my opinion, but we'll take it. We need every, every bit of luck we can get. Two assists for Ansu Fati, two shots on target as well. Not a bad performance. Only 7.6. That's a bit shocking for someone who had two assists, but we'll take it. We'll take, we'll take anything. As long as we're winning, oh, we cleaned him out. We absolutely cleaned him out. <laughs> But get in there. 7.7 rating for Ansu Fati. He was the highest rate on the team. Man of the match. Mark andre Testegen was the man of the match. Big, big, big performance there from Testegen. But what a win. Get in there. Atletico Madrid beat Inter Milan as well. So they are going through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. It's now the big boys. Atletico Madrid goes through 4-3 on aggregate. Barcelona beat Juventus 4-2 on aggregate. Real Madrid... Are going through by Leipzig 2 1 and PSG beat Manchester United 3 1 on aggregate to move on to the semi finals. So it's Real Madrid, PSG, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. Three Spanish clubs still into the Champions League. A Spanish team might win it this season. Oh, we got Real Madrid coming up and we drew Atletico Madrid as well. We drew Atletico Madrid. We got the cup final, I think. We got the Super, the, the Copa de Real final as well. So, yeah, good good games coming up in the next episode. Good games coming up in the next episode. But let's go and get this game going against Atletico Madrid. They're playing a 3-4-2-1. Cunha, Felix, they're also knackered. They just played against Inter Milan, so they're also tired. But look at Fati, man. No stamina for Ansu Fati. He's going to die on that pitch today. Felix, Cunha, Depaul, Trippier, Neves, Sheik, Carrasco, Felipe, Laporte, Lerez, and Old Black and Go. Let's get this game going here in first well in third versus fourth Atletico de Madrid versus Barcelona coming up here. Third versus fourth in La Liga. Who is going to win this game? Both teams kind of tired. They played during the midweek in the Champions League. Got qualified into the semifinals. They have drawn each other in the semifinals of the Champions League. Massive as Real Madrid also drew PSG. Let's take a look at our match objectives. So get an 8.5 match rating. Get a cross success rate for at least. 50% and get at least two goals and or assists. So they're asking for a big performance on a half-legged Ansu Fati. But the first half is on the way. We got to manage our stamina in this game. We got to manage our stamina. Cannot be running too much. Anyway, first half is on the way here. Ruby Neves finds Jao Felix. Good player from Atletico Madrid. Now it's Kevin Trippier. Back to uh, Jao Felix. Got it back. It's Mateo Scunia. Lays it off. And it's a goal for Atletico Madrid. 
They draw fresh blood in the derby. It comes from Patrick Sheik. And he posts them up 1-0. Lovely passing and movement here. Nothing really Barcelona could do about that. And it's a goal. It's a lovely strike from, from, from Patrick Sheik. And um, they're losing 1-0. Lovely player from Jao Felix. Cuts it back to Mateo Cunha. Good hold of play. Let's into the pack of Sheik. And what a strike. No goalkeeper is saving that. Who is not tracking their runners from midfield again? And Sheik makes it 1-0 here for Madrid. Now, so the Mateo Cunha. Out wide now to Yannick Carrasco. Good player from Atletico de Madrid. Into the true pass of Mateo Cunha. It's a 2-0. Atletico Madrid. 2-0 up here against Barcelona. Oh, talk about they deserve to be in third. They're absolutely renting us here today. This is not the performance we're looking for. We have to come and get a win. Lovely play out wide to Yannick Carrasco. What a true pass to Mateo Cunha and what a finish near post there. Mark andre Testegen couldn't do anything about that one. Not sure why, because it's near post. 2-0 to Atletico de Madrid. Head it away. Come on, give it a party now. Party. Ansu Fati, comfortable save there for Yano Black. One added minute to this first half. And there goes the first half whistle. Atletico de Madrid are taking a 2 0 win here into the halftime with 45 minutes left to play. Barca are now in the mud. They have to win this game. A draw is not even good enough. And they have to come back in the second half and score three goals if they want to win this game. It's going to be hard. Ansu Fati is already tired there's no stamina atletico what well, real madrid are tied with sevilla nil nil so i mean it could be a good result for atletico de madrid but come on i'll take a draw now 45 minutes left to play are barcelona going to come back into this game or are they going to get swept away here by atletico de madrid second half commences now it's our wide to kevin trippier lovely pass to Mateo cunha out wide now to Yannick Carrasco. Depay scores for Real Madrid into the feet of Jao Felix. And it's 3-0. They have absolutely deserved this lead. 3-0 for Atletico Madrid. We're getting swept away here. Barcelona, terrible performance. No stamina. Everyone is tired. But, you know, the same, same thing for Atletico Madrid. No excuses. We both play on the same day in the Champions League. They came out here and they've absolutely battered us. Uh, Chao Felix with a goal. Fati with no stamina. It's, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. Um, it's getting really bad out here. 3-0 for Atletico de Madrid. From bad to worse. Laporte finds Federico Lorente into the feed now with Rudy Paul. A good player from Atletico de Madrid. Lovely true pass to Mateo Scunia. And it's four. Oh my goodness. There's still 10 minutes left to play in this game. And it's 4-0 to Atletico Madrid. We're getting penetrated here today at the Camp Nou. Absolutely penetrated. But let's go to Madrid. What is happening here today? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Lovely skills there from him and that's... I don't know who, who was that. True pass comes into Mateo Scunia and he doesn't miss. He's on fire, Mateo Scunia. 4-0. Kidding me. Jao Felix coming up with a lovely true pass to Mateo Scunia. Go here some Cunha. I mean, you know what? How's the defense so poor? Oh my goodness. What's going on with this defense, man? What's going on with this bloody defense, man? You've got to be freaking kidding me. 5-0. Oh, my goodness. What's going on with this defense? I get it. We are poor offensively, right? Ansu Fati, no stamina. I get it. But that's no excuse for this defense to be so shy in this game today, man. Fucking but what is, what is going on with this game? 5-0 loss to Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. Only one at a minute to this game anyway. Put us out of our misery. Just put us out of our misery. And there goes the four-time whistle. 5-0 win for Atletico Madrid here over Barcelona. Look, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. We'll get our revenge back. You don't worry, Fati. We are going to get our revenge. We're facing these lads in the semifinals of the Champions League. Get ready. Get ready for that because we're coming for you. This is unacceptable defending here from Barcelona. No way you get wins 5-0 here in a big game. No fans. Everybody left already. Complete embarrassment today. We got embarrassed here today by Atletico Madrid. We should be ashamed of ourselves, man. 5-0 loss. Sevilla tied with Real Madrid 1-1. You've got to be freaking kidding me, man. I cannot believe it. 5-0 loss. One of the biggest defeat I've ever had so far this year, man. Because we do have Real Madrid coming up in the next episode. Then there's Granada in the cup final. And then right after that, we have to take on Atletico Madrid. Granada at home. And then Atletico Madrid again. So lots of game, great games coming up. No rest for Ansu Fati and Barcelona. It's going to be very difficult. We might get knocked out looking at that 5 0 loss. So, uh, but anything is still possible. We're going to stop here for now. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys on the next one.